Hey, welcome, Holy Sister Vaishnav Faisal Azeeb. I hope that you are well. For me, alhamdulillah, as I have some allergy. <laughs> yes, it is uh, season, it is time, yeah, but alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. We live with the uh, weather, we don't have the choice. Okay? So, if I have a uh, worse voice, don't worry, don't worry <laughs> about this. So, in this video, I will talk about new chapter, new feature in Java 1.8. It's very, very important feature. What is this new feature? It is about double colon. Yeah, double colon. And if you are a C++ developer, you know it is, uh, what is this uh, symbol? Okay. And why you use this double colon in Java 1.8? Use them for method reference and constrictor reference. Yes, you ask me, what is method reference? What is uh, constrictor reference? Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You will understand this step by step. Okay, to be familiar, inshallah. It's very important, as I say, to understand the concept. If you understand the concept or what I mean, you will do after, it's very, very easy. Because very easy. Okay? So let's start with method reference. Why we use them? This advantage. Let's see this by example. So I have the interface, my interface, with only one of method, this M1. Public void M1. This functional interface. Okay? Now create my class. Public static void main. If I want to implement uh, method M1 in previous version, I create class to implement, with implementation, implement uh, my interface, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But here I will use directly another expression. Okay? So, public static void main, I will do my interface E equal, uh, I open the, my parenthesis, simple arrow, and I provide uh, some implementation uh, between calling brackets. So it's suppose system out of implementation of M1 with lota expression, etc. etc. I suppose I have multiple uh, statements here. So this I will do to call M1, I just make E dot M1. Okay, I will call the call inside lota expression. I have explained this before in the first uh, chapter. Okay. Now I will create another example. Okay? And I will show you a new solution for this. There is not a new alternative to implement M1. Okay? Without the expression. <laughs> yes, you will see this now. I have the same interface. My interface with uh, the same abstract method, M1. I will create my class, the class to my class. I will add a new method M2, public static void M2. If inside this method, I will create uh, some implementation system out of internet. <coughs> implementation by method reference. Okay? Etc. etc. Some state. For this public static void main. And here I will do my interface E equal what I will do here. Hey, hey. I don't want to implement with load expression. I don't want to implement M1 with load expression for my functional interface. No, I don't want to do this. Yeah, there is a new alternative. What is this new alternative? Here, I suppose I don't want to create a implementation of uh, M1 because I suppose. The implementation of M1 exists, exists inside M2 method. Okay? I suppose, huh? I suppose, I repeat, I suppose it exists inside M2 method. So I don't want to implement it again. And here, M1 refer to M2 method. Okay? 
And what we call this, we call method reference. Here is the method reference. If you don't re-implement the implementation by interface, the method of stack method, just use some code that exists in another uh, method in another class. Okay? So here, how I will do this in my code when I create my interface? E. How to do this? Here, M2 is static. So, to call M2, I will use the name of the class. So here, my class, my class 2, the name of my class. I put double color. Here, I put my double color, and I will add it after this. I added what I am to without without parentheses. Okay, I repeat. To call M1, to implement M1, to implement M1, refer it to M2 because it exists in M2. I just write like this. It is static here, M2 is static. So I will use the name of the class, it is my class, or my class 2. Double colon as the name of the method that you refer. It is M2 without parentheses. Okay? And we call this method reference. Okay? It's so simple. Now, how to call M1? We will do E dot M1. Okay? Same thing. But here, when I do this, M1, the code, which code will be executed? The code inside M2, because I refer to M2. Okay, I don't implement M1 again, because it exists. M2. So here, the code directly will be executed inside of M2. It's so simple like this. So, what is the advantage of method reference? You know, I think you know. Ah, it's a big advantage. It is called Riazi. Reusability. The code reusability the, to, the, to use something that exists to write another one. Okay? But here, of course, we can, be, we can do uh, anything what we, uh, what we found. No. <laughs> there is a constant here. What is this constant? It's very important. The constant is. The both method is the very one. The both method must have the same type of argument. Okay, I repeat. The both method must have the same type of argument. Okay? It's very, very important. If it does not the case, you can't do method arguments. It's impossible. Okay? Here, as you can see, I don't have argument inside M1, and also I don't have in M2. So you tell me if I'm a modifier, they... no, no. There is no problem with the name, different name. No problem if the modifier are different, no problem. And also, no problem about the return type. No problem. Only about argument. Okay? Check this, it's both this in your head, please. It's very, very important. Okay? So, what is the advantage? Uh, what is... Uh, not advantage, what is method reference? It is an alternative of Lodda expression. So simple, like this. Okay? So, let's go to the computer to execute the simple code with method reference to check the result. And... Uh, which I think I will continue with the next video, inshallah. Okay? So, let's do this and check the result. Go! So, let's create our uh, class. Uh, here is my interface. Simple. So, now create our method. Public static void m2 method. And here I will put uh, some argument system of return end. and here what I put implementation with method reference okay 
Now, public static void base string args, and here I will do my interface e equal my class. The name of my class is my class two point meta referrals m2. Okay, and here what I will do e dot m1. When I execute, normally I will get this result implementation with method referrals. So let's see this. Do you see? Here is the result. Very simple. Okay. So uh, I have implemented this method referrals, and I will continue in this video more detail about. Method reference. I don't want to make a long video. Uh, I repeat, it is not uh, my goals because I don't want to receive a lot of information at the same time. I want to understand the concept. I, for me, it's uh, very important to make a uh, short video between uh, five to fifteen minutes. For me, uh, uh, what I see to understand a different concept. So I will continue, inshallah, the second part. Index video, inshallah, or new things. And in this moment, uh, I let you to uh, practice, 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 practice. If you don't understand, see again this video. Follow this course. Stay always focused, motivated, and positive. Share the chat this course with your friends. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. I tell you goodbye. Assalamu alaikum. Wa barakatuh. Thank you.